What's up guys, Sila here and I am back with another video and this time we're continuing our grindable reputation guide. These are all factions that you can grind for as little or as long as you want. They don't have any limitations on the amount of reputation you could get. So you could get exalted in one day if you want to, if you can put the effort in. And at the end of the grind you will be able to get yourself a mount or more depending on the reputation. Now in the last video we covered vanilla, BC and Wrath of the Lich King. So if you want to check that out there'll be a pop up now for you to go to part 1. And in this video, we're going to be doing Cataclysm, Mr. Pandaria, and Draenor. Next up, we have a Cataclysm faction, and that is the Ram Kehen. And once you reach Exalted with them, you will be awarded with the Bronze and the Tan Riding Camels. Ram Kehen is located in Uldum, and very similar to the Wormrest Accord, you're going to have to reach Friendly first of all. Once you reach Friendly, you'll be able to buy a Tabard. You'll wear that Tabard through certain dungeons, and you'll gain reputation. So to access friendly, you will need to do a bit of a pre-quest as well. Don't worry, this one isn't too long. Nowhere near the Sons of Hodir, at least. And you'll head to kind of Tenaris, and just just at the entrance of Aldum, you'll see these massive kind of like pillars. And just in front of that, you'll see some NPCs, big like caravan and stuff. And you'll be able to pick up the quest called Easy Money. That'll make you jump onto a camel, you'll head inside Aldum, and you'll be able to skip the cutscene. And then you'll be locked in a cage and your first quest will be to go and spy on the, one of the Lords of the Wind. Uh, you'll click on the plant. You can't skip this one. You have to listen to it. Once you're done with that, you'll have to kill some mobs, collect some armor, burn some haystacks, collect a key. And once you're done with all that, you'll be taken to Ramkahen where you'll get the option of either getting gold or reputation. The, the fact that we want rep, you'll pick the rep one. That's going to give you a thousand reputation. And then once you're done with that, you'll get another quest to go and assist his, like, various bad uh, men, basically. You'll go and assist them, you'll reach friendly for just doing those quests. Doesn't really matter which ones you do, just keep questing in the zone until you hit friendly, it doesn't take very long. And then once we're done with friendly, we can head to Ramkahen in Uldum. You can speak to the Quartermaster, who's just off to the left a little bit near the Anvils, by the Tabard. And then we can finally start gaining reputation through dungeons. So most of the heroic, or all the heroic dungeons are going to give you reputation. So you could go through like Blackrock Caverns or Vortex Pinnacle or Stonecore or Zul'Gurub, uh, the ones that give mounts and stuff as well. Get your rep on heroic. And then if you want to continuously farm reputation, you'll have to either do the Lost City of Tolvir, Halls of Origination or Grim Batol on normal difficulty. And you'll be able to do those and gain reputation continuously all the way up to Exalted. And then you can buy your camels. Uh, this also works in time walking, so if the Cataclysm time walking is happening, you can wear your Ramkahan Tabard and gain reputation during the time walking dungeons too. Next up we have a Mr. Pandaria faction, and this is the Law Walkers. Once you're exalted with the Law Walkers, you'll be able to buy the Disc of the Red Flying Cloud, and this is one of the more unique looking mounts in the game. And this one is a lot more relaxed of a grind. There's no mob killing, there's no long quest lines or anything. It's just an easy case of flying around and clicking things and completing achievements. So how this works is you'll need to complete the exploration achievements related to Law Scrolls. There'll be a bunch of Law Scrolls in Pandari that you'll need to find and click on. Once you collect them all, you'll get achievements for it. And those achievements will also give you quest items that'll go to your mailbox. You'll loot the quest items, you'll hand them in, and you'll gain reputation from those two things. That'll, those will all give you reputation to get to Exalted, and then you can buy your Red Flying Cloud. So what I'd recommend doing is getting an add-on called TomTom Tom and an add-on called Paste. Both of those will be in the description down below. You'll get those add-ons in, you'll open the game, and then also in the description will be a bunch of coordinates. You'll copy all that list, and you'll open up Paste, which should be on your minimap. You'll paste the coordinates into the text box, and you'll click Paste and Close, I think the bo uh, button is. That's going to paste it all into your chat. TomTom's going to pick up those coordinates, add them to your map, and your map should be full of a bunch of green dots. And then it'll also have an arrow pointing to the closest dot. And that will lead you to all of the items you need. Fly around, collect them all. It should take you about half an hour to an hour. Collect them all. And once you're done with that, you can head to your mailbox. Loot all of the quest items. If they're not there for some reason, just relog. Uh, loot all the quest items, accept the quests. And then head to Law Walker Cho, who is found above Mogu Shan Palace in the Vale of the Eternal Blossom. Head to him and start handing them in. Now, one thing to note is there'll be a vendor to the left-hand side that will allow you to buy an item at Reverd that will give you double reputation once you hit Reverd. Definitely buy that because that will make sure you have enough rep to get to Exalted. So once you hit Reverd, go and buy that and then continue handing in the quests. 
And once you hand them all in, you should be exalted and you can buy the cloud and you're good to go. So quite nice, relaxed one and a fairly cool mount from it too. The next Mr. Pandaria faction up is the Emperor of Shower How, which when you reach Exalted and have 100,000 timeless coins, you'll be able to buy the Heavenly Golden Cloud Serpent, which is a really nice looking mount. And this is primarily a mob grind. So you're gonna be killing mobs over and over again, getting the reputation and the coins you need, and then eventually getting the mount. The mobs that you need to kill are the Yongol mobs, the ones that are part of the Ordon faction. And these are going to be found in the Firewalker Ruins, the Blazing Way, and also the Ordon Sanctuary. All of these will award reputation. The Firewalker Ruins one's given a little bit less, and the Ordon Sanctuary one's given the most. And you'll probably need to cycle between these different places, killing them and gaining reputation. Now, previously in Mr. Pandaria, to get to the Ordon Sanctuary, you needed the Legendary Cloak on a character, and you unlocked like account-bound access to this section. I don't know if that's still the case. But if you aren't able to cross the bridge, like you'll be magically kind of knocked across it. If you can't, you can use certain class abilities to get you across it. Or things like Goblin Glider and things can get you across the gap as well. So that, that's an idea. But in general, if you can't, you can still farm the Firewalker Ruins and the Blazing Way anyway. And that should roughly be enough mobs to get you by. Also, one thing to note as well, when you, once you hit Honored, you'll be able to buy a Scroll of Challenge from the Quartermaster for 500 coins. You can take that to the Free Breeze Terrace, which is off to the, like, the top left, and use that on the pillar, and it'll summon a bunch of mobs that's going to give you a burst of rep and some coins back as well. As long as you're looting the mobs that you're killing, you'll end up with 100,000 coins, no problem. It's just a case of making sure to loot things and kill as much as possible, and get through the rep grind. Once you're exalted, you'll be able to buy your mount. Next up is the Mr. Pandaria version of the Neverwing Reputation. And this is the Order of the Cloud Serpent. Once you're done with this faction, you'll be able to buy three Cloud Serpents. You'll get one for free, and you'll be able to buy the other two. To start this, you'll need to head to the Jade Forest, and there you'll find the Arboretum, and you'll find Elder and Lee. You'll speak to Elder and Lee, and they'll send you on a quest to go to the Windward Isle. On the Windward Isle, you, the NPC you're sent to will give you three more quests to pick up eggs, to kill the uh, Sliver Scales, and also to save the Serpents. Once you've done all of that, you'll be able to pick an egg of your choosing. It doesn't really matter which color you pick, just pick the one that you want for free. And head back to the Arboretum, and then you'll be able to start doing the dailies. But more importantly, you'll be able to start hunting Onyx eggs. So very similar to the Neverwing rep, there you're farming Neverwing eggs. This time we're going to be farming Onyx eggs. So you want to head back to the Windward Isle, and around kind of the edges, there'll be a map up showing you the locations that the eggs can spawn in. But you'll just want to be doing cycles of this uh, this little island over and over again and hunting down the Onyx eggs and then heading back to Elder and Lee to hand them in. And you're going to be getting 500 reputation per hand in. So you're just going to be doing that over and over again until you get all of your reputation. Alternatively, you could head over to the Timeless Isle and over on the right side of the Timeless Isle at the Blazing Way, you'll find these Crimson Scale Firestorm mobs scattered around. They're basically Cloud Serpents. And killing those will give you a 10% chance of getting a Quivering Firestorm Egg. And this item is bind on account, so you could farm it on different realms, different characters, and send them over to your main. But handing it in back at Elder and Lee will give you a 1000 reputation. Now this may seem better than the Onyx Eggs because it's double the reputation, but you are limited on the amount of mobs you can get. So if the Onyx Eggs are a bit more contested, if there's people there trying to get them too, it could be worth coming to the Timeless Isle and farming up these mobs, or even switching between multiple realms and just clearing out the Firestorm mobs and then switching to a different realm and sending all your eggs over. Get yourself to Exalted and then you can do the quest line to get your free mount or you can head over to the Quartermaster and buy all three of them if you want to. Also, one big thing to keep in mind is the vendor does also sell an item that will double your reputation at Revered. So the second you hit Revered, make sure you buy that from them and that's going to be giving you a thousand reputation per hand in making the revert to Exalted fairly quick. So definitely do that, grind through, and get yourself your Cloud Serpent mounts. The next Mr. Pandaria rep grind is actually going to allow you to work towards four different rep factions at once. It's going to be the Golden Lotus, which will give you the Crane mounts. There'll be three different Crane mounts you can get. It's going to be the August Celestials, which will get you the Thundering August Cloud Serpent. The Shadow Pan, which is going to give you the Shadow Pan Tigers. And also the Klaxi, which is going to give you the Amber Scorpion. 
So after working through all of this, you can have four factions exalted and you'll be able to buy all of their mounts. How this works is we're going to be grinding the Zandalari Warbringers and Zandalari War Scouts. They're in specific locations in Kunlai, Krasarang, Jade Forest, Townlong Steps and Dread Wastes. You'll go to those areas, see if they're up. If they're not up, you'll check the next zone. And then the way this is a continuous grind is once you've killed them all or whatever, um, you can then log on to a different character that's on a different realm that's able to kill them and check again. Alternatively, you could make a class trial. Class trial starts at 110. So you can make a class trial character. You can fly it out to Pandaria and check the zones as well, go on a low pop realm. And you can continuously keep checking multiple different realms for the Warbringers and the War Scouts. And then after about 40 to 50 minutes, they should start respawning on the first realm that you checked. And you can go around checking again. The reason you can do this is the items that you get from the Warbringers and the War Scouts, these rep tokens that are going to give you a thousand rep every time you get them, they're bind on account. So you can get them on these other characters, you can send them over to your main character, and then once you have a bunch, you can use them all, and you're going to get a massive chunk of reputation. Keep doing that until you're exalted. Now, one other thing to note as well, the Golden Lotus, Elga Celestials, etc, etc, all have vendors that will sell an item that once you hit reverge, you'll be able to buy it, and that's going to give you double reputation. So definitely get that once you start hitting reverge, because it's going to make the final leg a lot quicker. The final thing to notice is that, uh, or to know, I should say, is the Kalaxi vendor might not be there by default. You might have to do the intro quest to Dread Wastes, which you can find on like the wall and um, between Veil of the Eternal Blossoms and Dread Wastes. You do that, you quest through that, you'll eventually be introduced to the Kalaxi and you'll help them set up, and then you'll have access to the vendor. So you might need to run through that real quick. That's about the only real prerequisite to this. Just keep grinding the Warbringers and the War Scouts. You've seen a map a moment ago. And get your rep. And there you go. You'll have four rep factions done and a bunch of mounts you can buy. The final leg of the video is going to be Warlords of Draenor reps. And the first one up is the Saber Stalkers. And this one's fairly straightforward. You'll head to Tanan Jungle. In the selfish end, you'll find these Saberon mobs. And when you kill them, you'll gain reputation. And you'll also gain these fangs or claws. And you'll need to get 6,000 of those items, you'll need to get to Exalted, and you'll be able to buy two mounts from the vendor who's just outside of their village in like a little camp area. And there you go, it's simple as that. If you do have your garrison set up and you've unlocked Tanan Jungle's base, then you will get a daily from that, oh sorry, not a daily, a weekly from that NPC, which will allow you to buy the three banners. You'll place them down and it'll require you to kill all three of those mobs from each of the banners. And you'll get a big chunk of reputation from that as well. So definitely worth doing if you have that. But outside of that, just continuously grind these mobs, loot the fangs, and get yourself up to Exalted. The next Warlords of Draenor faction up is the Steam Weedle Preservation Society. It's just to the left of Lockrath in Nagrand. And once you hit Exalted with them, you'll get the Domesticated Razorback Boar. And this rep grind isn't too bad because there's multiple ways of actually gaining the reputation. The first one up is these rare spawns, which are kind of just to the north of where the Steam Weedle are. Uh, they're kind of scattered around the area, but there's nine of them total. And when you kill them, you'll get an item that you can hand in for 550 reputation. This item is bind on account, so you can use other characters that are in other realms to go kill them. And then send them to your main character and hand them in. And the res are on about a 30 to 45 minute respawn timer, so you're not waiting too long for them. Next up are these caches that are scattered around that area as well. You'll find them kind of all around the north to the leftish. Forgot what the other one is, the west. And um, you find them all to, from the north to the westish area. So just keep flying around looking for these caches, and when you loot them, you'll get either Gorian artifacts or high mole relics from them, which you can hand in for 350 rep for a high mole relic or 250 rep every 20 Gurin artifacts. The High Mole Relics, once again, are bind on account, so you can get them on other realms and send them to your main character. The final way of gaining reputation is from killing most of the mobs in that area as well, and you'll have a chance of getting the Gurian artifacts and also the High Mole Relics. One of the better spots is just outside of High Mole. There's a bunch of elite mobs there, the Ogres, etc. You can kill those, you can farm those up and get your relics and artifacts from those. And then once you have a bunch, you just head back to the Steam Weedle and hand them in and you'll gain your reputation and you'll be able to get them out. So just rinse and repeat on this one. Keep killing the rares. The rares are definitely high value. 
and then outside of, uh, outside of that just look for the caches and kill the mobs. Next up we have the base warlords Adreno faction rep so for horde that's going to be the frost wolf orcs and at exalted you're going to get the swift frost wolf and for alliance that is the council of exarch which is going to give the dusty rock hider exalted. So these are pretty straightforward you just want to quest through the respective zones so for horde through frostfire ridge for Alliance through Shadow Moon Valley, getting as much of the stuff there done as possible. You can get a chunk of rep, you should be around revered. And then it's just a case of grinding mobs to get yourself to Exalted. For Horde, you want to grind in Frostfire Ridge, either at Magnarok, which is the one that I'd recommend, or you can go to Stone Fury Cliffs or the Iron Siege Works and just kill stuff there. For Alliance, once again, kill things in Shadow Moon Valley, the Elites. You can even go to Pillars of Fate, which is the one I'd recommend, mainly because there's a portal you can take and you can kill all the kind of void monsters in there as well. I believe they give rep. Or you can go to Sacrifice Rise or Dark Tide Roost. Farm that up, get to Exalted, and then you'll be able to buy your mounts. The next faction up, once again, a nice, easy, straightforward one, and this is the Arakoa Outcasts, which when Exalted, you're going to get the Shadow Main Charger. Similar to the last ones we talked about, you just want to quest through the Spires of Iraq doing all the Arakoa related quests. And once you do all that, you should be a good chunk into the reputation. And then from there on out, you just need to kill mobs. The mobs that you should be killing, I'd recommend at least, is over by the Lost Vale of Anzu, to the right of that. It's all the way over to the right side of the zone. There's like a massive dip down and kind of like a rivery area. Uh, in there, you're going to find a bunch of like goblins and infested mobs and the ogres and just run around killing all of the stuff there and you're going to be getting a good chunk of reputation. Farm that out until you hit Exalted. The final faction up on our list is going to be the Laughing Skull for the Horde, which is going to give the Ironside Warwolf. And then for the Alliance, it's the Shatari Defense, which is going to give the Armored Iron Tusk. And this faction does have a little bit of a prerequisite to it. It requires you to have a level 2 trading post in your garrison. So you're going to have to go through and make your garrison if you haven't already. And set up your garrison, turn it into a level 2 garrison, which can be done quite easily. And then buy the recipe from the vendor to get your level 2 trading post. Build the trading post, upgrade it to a level 2 trading post. And then you'll be able to start getting the reputation. Nothing else past that, you'll just, once you have level 2. You'll be able to get the reputation, you'll be able to gain it. So to gain it for Horde, you want to head to Gorgrond and go to the Pit. The Pit is the area that's kind of just to the left, uh, the left of the Blackrock Foundry. And not the mobs in the Darek Center, not the like waves of elites right in the center, because those don't give any rep, but the ones that are kind of outside of that, like around the circle, those give rep and you just want to run around killing those, getting the res along the way as well, and just grinding those out until you get to Exalted. For Alliance, it's a very similar story. You want to make your level 2 trading post once again. And you're going to head, want to head to Talador to Shatraf City and kill the mobs in Shatraf City or in Shatraf Harbor. They all give mobs, uh, they all give rep. And you just want to kill the elite mobs because they'll give a little bit more rep. So just head around killing as many mobs as possible, trying to kill as many elites as possible, and grind up your reputation. It is a bit of a slog, but once you get exalted, you'll be able to head back to your garrison. Go to your level 2 trading post and there'll be an NPC there that you'll be able to buy the mount from. A few final things to note for the Warlords of Draenor reps and some of the other ones as well. First of all is a Medallion of the Legion token. This is a Warlords of Draenor token that will give you a thousand reputation with pretty much all of the factions. And this can be gotten even from the Auction House or during the Christmas event or mainly from Tenan Jungle. There's four rares that spawn. They have around about a four hour respawn. You can kill them once per day per character. And they have a chance of giving a medallion of the legion. You can buy them off the auction house as well as I mentioned. And get yourself a thousand rep per token that you use. Also you can make use of time walking for most of the reps mentioned here. You can go do time walking and use your time warped badges to buy reputation tokens. Depending on which, on which time walking is currently active. So if what time walking is up you can buy wad rep. Mop time walking is up you can buy mop rep etc etc. Also, guild banners, if you're doing a mob farm that's giving rep, it's worth getting guild banners and throwing those down because they will make the grind slightly longer. Oh, sorry, slightly shorter. And also making use of Dark Moon Fair as well because you can get the Wee Buff, which is going to be giving you an hour of 10% experience. And then finally, for the Warlords of Draenor ones specifically, most of the ones mentioned have a missive for them. So you can head to your garrison, speak to the guy who sells the experience potions, and he'll have a missive for like Magnarok if you're doing the Frostwolf, uh, Frostwolf Orcs. You can buy the Magnarok missive, go to Magnarok, grind them out, 
and that will give you a thousand apexis crystals which will be useful for buying the mounts at the end of the grind so yeah just one little thing to keep in mind as well so that is it for all of the reps in this video. Hopefully those were helpful. So that brings us to the end of this reputation guide. If you did find the video helpful, then consider checking out my other videos or future videos as I cover a lot of guides, news and information around World of Warcraft. And also consider checking out my Twitch channel. While you're watching this video, if you're watching it when it goes live, I'm probably already doing a live stream, doing a one to max level leveling marathon as quickly as I can. So if that sounds interesting to you, then check out my Twitch in the description below or check out twitch.tv forward slash Scylla. Outside of that, thank you for watching and look out for more videos coming soon. See ya.